ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Heat G of Robot Wars Armageddon Rebirth Series 2. We have six more maniacal machines waiting. Let's meet them now. From Missouri, in the United States of America, Fury. Veterans of Robot Wars Armageddon with lots of former success, however, they lost in the first round last time around. They're 100 grams in weight and they've got a very powerful flipper. Watch out for these guys, they could do well. From Argo and Geese, Lethal Combination. Named so because of their dual weaponry, a flipper and axe combination. Both weapons are very powerful, it's heavier at 100 grams. Its speed is relatively quick at 12 centimeters per second, but the card armor is slightly weak. From Lancashire, AT20. Big, bulky, mean, 100 grams in weight, very powerful flywheel, connect build means it's strong. Watch out for these guys, they could do well. The fan favourites are back, it's a Lego machine so it's got very tough armour, it's quick at 25cm per second, hopefully this time they can live up to the fans expectations. From Lincolnshire, Four. Completely rebuilt since the last wars, they've got a very powerful heavy hammer which is double ended, it's quick at 15cm per second, it's well armoured and connects, watch out for these guys. From the Isle of Wight and seated number 12, up down. Legends of Robot Wars Armageddon, this series, seeded number 12. It's got a very powerful flipper and it's very, very quick at 27 centimeters per second. Launch 1995 has more. Up down and may be our lowest seed, but they're certainly the most experienced, being one of the original four entries in Robot Wars Armageddon. In the last series, they were completely destroyed by Katrina in the heat final of the series. This time around, they've got an entirely new machine, so let's see how they do. So in Group B we have three veterans in Steam Shovel, AT20 and Thor, what a group that will be! But first up we have Up Down and the number 12 seeds, Lethal Combination and Fury. Up Downer versus Fury is the first battle of the night. Robot is stand by. Three, two, one, activate. This should be a flipping fantastic battle, a good flip there immediately by Fury, do they want to do well this time? <laughs> <laughs> They've already gone! <laughs> and up downer! Well, <laughs> there was no question about that. Up downer, they get the three points. Fury or nothing. They're going down there against Lethal Combination. They're going to want to do a bit better than that this time around. <laughs> Robot is stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. So, Fury will want to definitely make up for that last battle, and they are do immediately flipping up a Lethal Combination, and again, and again flipping them into the air. Now Lethal Combination can self right using the axe, and they do so, but they've been thrown over what once again. Lethal Combination will want to get their weapon into play, and they do, flipping Fury, and now getting the axe involved. That axe is very, very powerful, puncturing the armour there, I'm almost certain of it. There's Fury with that flip, oh, and again! throwing them into the air. This is fantastic stuff so far. This is a much better fight than the last one. Both machines giving it their all here. Fury in the CPZ though with Neil. And I think Neil, yes! Crumbling down look on the flipper. Now how much damage has been done there? I'm not too sure. I think Fury's okay. They are trying to self right but not getting very far. And now for me Lethal Combination on top here. Fury nearly out of the arena there. Oh Fury are okay now though. And now getting a Lethal Combination once again. And Neil, Neil nearly in the pit. <laughs> It's gone down the pit. Oh, what are you doing, girl? Get out of there. Fury, me, one now attacking. Leave the combination, leave the combination. Would have been in the pit there had Nail not been in there. And now I've gone down. Leave the combination in the pit. And Fury, they managed to make up for that last defeat. That last defeat. They get three points. And they well deserve them as well. Finally self-writing, they get the three points, Lethal Combination getting zero. Lethal Combination need to win this battle against Up Downer to, get, to take it to a tie break, otherwise they could be out. Robot is stand by. Three, two, one, activate. So, Up Downer are the favourites, but getting flipped into the air immediately there by Lethal Combination. Lethal Combination's axe now coming down on top, and I think, yes, look at that, I think they punctured them. Now that is an incredible amount of power, you had to puncture Lego armor with an, oh, with an axe! Oh, that was just saying! Their weaponry was powerful and their flipper breaks off! A powerful flipper, a powerful axe, the flipper was too powerful, it snapped itself off! So now it's no longer lethal combination, it's just an axe. Well, 
Fingers crossed, hopefully that will work for them. It is a powerful axe, but up downer. Managing to take advantage now of that lack of an extra weapon on Lethal Combination. Nearly flipping them into the pit of oblivion. And now, Lethal Combination stuck with Brick. That is a place you do not want to be. Brick slamming into Lethal Combination. Lethal Combination are in trouble here. They're on their side. They've been thrown all over the arena. Now, can they sell right? Oh, yeah, yes, they can. For a minute, I thought the axe had broke on them. Lethal Combination now getting underneath up down and smacking them down with the axe once more. That axe is a very powerful weapon, but they're upside down and went here. And in the CPZ with Brick once again. And up down and now flipping them into the air and into the pit of oblivion. Go Lethal Injection. Sorry, lethal Combination, sorry. They're out. And up down a. They go through to the heat final in a very impressive style. There's the remnants of Lethal Combination's flipping arm. Up down to get the six points. Fury and Lethal Combination, they are both out. Hope to see them again next round. Up down or through to the heat final. And they will face either of these three. Steam Shovel, AT20 or Thor. Steam Shovel versus AT20 are up first. Robot is stand by. Three, two, one. Watch out for that big flywheel of 80-20, but don't count Steam Shovel out. It's got a very, very powerful set of drive this time around and very strong armor, but 80-20 bringing that flywheel into play. But back come Steam Shovel now, pushing them back. But Steam Shovel now, backed into the CPZ with Brick, and off comes the piece of armor there. I'm not too sure what that was. Oh! <laughs> Brick's lost an eye. Brick. <laughs> Brick's <laughs> lost an eye, thanks to AT20, and that allows Steam Shovel to push them into Katrina's CPZ, and now Katrina, not Katrina, Steam Shovel trying to get some advantage here on AT20, AT20 causing all kinds of damage to Steam Shovel, but Steam Shovel's still going here, oh look there again, more damage, even more damage done to this hard armour, that just shows you the power of that flywheel, but once again Steam Shovel coming back, pushes them into Katrina's CPZ, Katrina's flywheel hitting AT20, and now pushing AT20 into Brick CP's head. Brick is in all sorts of trouble. AT20 is in all sorts of trouble here right now. Meanwhile, Steam Shovel, are they still mobile? AT20 managing to right itself, and Steam Shovel are still going. They are still mobile. I tell you what, you have to give credit to Steam Shovel here. They take a heck of a lot of damage, and they're still mobile. And this one could very well go to the judges at this rate. Oh. <laughs> Off goes Brick's other eye. <laughs> so he's now eyeless. I doubt you can even see where he's going. That was a good push there by Steam Shovel. Steam Shovel now carrying 8020 on its back. And I tell you what, this is one heck of a battle here. For me, this is bad. This could be potentially battle of the series. More damage than a Steam Shovel as a piece of armor comes off. And again, even more damage done. And I tell you what, and even more damage done. And I tell you what, Steam Shovel here. There's not going to be much left of it at this rate, surely they've done for now, but they're still moving! Well, I tell you what, credit has to be given here to the Steam Shovel. They are fan favourites, and there's a reason why. They're plucky, and they don't die quick. And they've still got enough strength left to give AT20 a good run for their money here. AT20 being pushed back into Brick CPZ. Brick's lifting arms trying to come in. But now, oh, Steam Shovel, I think they've gotten beat. on a piece of their armour. And then in the bit of oblivion, and they're down into the pit. They couldn't get away in time. And AT20 managed to get the three points there. Well into them. Commiserations to Steam Shovel. They now need to hope to get to a good victory here against Thor or 8020 could be going through to the heat final. Robot is stand by. <laughs> Three, two, one, activate. So who will win out of these two? Thor's hammer immediately coming down with a lot of power. Oh but it's snapped up immediately! It's snapped up immediately and we were promised that, that hammer had come back when Brood this time around! But it's just broken off! That shows you how tough Steam Shovel's armor is. It was the force of the hammer, you know, meeting the meeting the strength of the armor there of Steam Shovel, caused it to snap in half. And now Thor are in the CPZ with Katri with Karma, sorry, and Karma has managed to nom 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 there on Thor. Thor in all sorts of trouble here now. And meanwhile. <laughs> Karma's also got in the pit. What is with this heat? All the household was a bit knackered by the end of this heat. What's going on? They've all been taken into pieces. Anyway, Steam Shovel currently on top for me as they push Thor back towards the CPZ once again. You see, Thor, they have, they have nothing. They have no defence now. They have no offence and no defence. They're just being slammed and pushed around. And Steam Shovel, they've come back strong this time around. They have made improvements since the last wars. It's now pluckier, it's now deadlier, and it's now quicker as well. And that scoop is definitely an impressive design on the front. 
but can they do the goods here? Can they get Thor done for? I think they can because Thor to me looks dead now in the CPZ with Katrina and I think Katrina agrees with me on that one hence why she's attacking it out of the CPZ and now Thor being pushed towards the pit and had Karma not been there Thor would have been down the pit there for me and I think it's all over for Thor here they haven't moved in quite a while and Steam Shovel look like they've got the victory here now Thor I think are done for. Yes, in comes Katrina again. That was a huge hit there. And Katrina is now bringing her flywheel into play on Thor. <laughs> Poor Thor. Getting a heck of a buffeting here and being pushed now onto the drop zone by Steam Shovel. Which means there can be even more damage done. And look there, the axe mechanism has been broken Sheesh. out of the machine. And Steam Shovel, they're going through to the next, well, well they're not going through but they get the three points Thor end up with zero Thor now will have to beat AT20 to have any chance of staying in the competition and bring it to a tiebreaker can they do it? let's find out Robot is stand by 3 2 1 activate how well repaired is that Thor hammer? Well, it looks pretty good. Oh, but immediately flipped up and over by AT20 again. AT20's flywheel is huge and very powerful. There is the hammer of Thor coming down. And oh, it's snapped again. It's snapped again, which means it obviously wasn't very well prepared. And that means they are once again offenseless and defenseless here against AT20. And AT20 brings that flywheel into play. Oh dearie dearie me, poor Thor, they've had a rotten time in how to be this. I mean look at the side panel, ripped away there by AT20 and the other side panel also goes as well. And Thor being chewed up here by AT20, AT20 look fantastic don't they? There, meanwhile Brick now using those lifting arms to good effect, grappling a hold of Thor and dragging them I think towards Karma's jaws, yes, there's Karma. A fantastic house robot, isn't she? She's beautiful. And she clutches a hold of Thor into the air. And I think you're going to plonk them on the floor for the yes. And we're going to see Thor go flying through the air any second now. There they go. Oh! <laughs> and into the pit. <laughs> Who aimed that? That was fantastic. An 80 20. They look impressive. They get the three points, which means their total is six points. Steam Shovel and Thor, they both go out despite good impressions from Steam Shovel. Age 20, meanwhile, they go through to the heat final where they will take on the number 12 seeds up downer. This should be one hell of a heat final. I can't wait. Robot is stand by. Three, two, one. So who will win this one? The destruction or the control of that flipper? Well, immediately up down are flipping them. And again, 8020 though, self-writing very, very quickly. They've got a good stream make there, haven't they? With that lifting ramp at the back. And now getting their blade into good effect. And look at the damage being done here to up downer. But up downer self-writing and now flipping them once again. 8020 in all sorts of trouble here, but they're okay. They keep nose diving. Have you noticed that? Every time they get flipped over, they keep having to do a bit of a nose dive when they self-write. But 80 20 trying to bring that blade back into play once again. Up downer trying to flip them here though. Up downer getting hit, but now getting a little cheeky flicking again. Failed to put the mobile on that attempt though. This is a terrific battle so far. One of the best heat finals we've had in the series, I think. Up and over they go again. They self right really well. This is a terrific fight. One of the best we've had in the series, easily. Both machines getting in good offense. Oh, and there was a huge hit there by ET20. Meanwhile, up down, I try to flip 8020 up and over, getting underneath right there where the flipper is. Oh, but look at the damage on that of the flipper! Now has that turned the tide? Has that proved costly in this heat final? I don't think it has because up down as flipper is still working. I think it's looking a bit buckled, it's looking a bit bent, but it still works, which means they can still flip 8020 up and over. And that means that that damage obviously wasn't as significant as it once looked. AT20 now coming back in for another assault on the side. But I say AT20 are just on top at the moment, but up down are coming back strongly. 
I don't want to make it to a series semi-final. They are former champions. They won series 10 of the original Robot Wars Arm again. They were the first one to beat Killer 2. Up and over they go again though. Thanks to 8020. 8020, former grand finalist in series 27. Former semi-finalist in series 28. They lost in the heats due to being disqualified in series 29. And so they, so they came off there. And that was definitely up of 8020. Now is that going to prove costly, I wonder? I'm not too sure. Both these machines want to win this one. And both machines deserve it in my opinion. This here is a battle worthy of a grand final if you ask me. These two machines are fantastic and they really do deserve to go through to the next round. Only one can though. For me, it's tough. I don't really, I couldn't pick a winner between these two so far to be honest. In the heat, in the CPZ though, goes up downer and that means that Karma can try and chomp on them but she failed and I've done that very little bit of oblivion can they get away oh yes they can just and meanwhile again the flipper taking a huge shot by easy but it doesn't affect the flipper and up downer I tell you what I've proven themselves to be a durable machine here in this here this fantastic heat final this could well go to the judges at this rate this is one of the best heat finals we've ever had in Robot Wars Armageddon and it continues as the 10 second clock now turns up and we're going to go into the final 10 seconds this one is going to go to the judges and in the last second Seconds, the dying seconds, Nail clutches a hold of AT20, will that prove costly? I don't know. Cease called, the match is over, and it's going to the judges. What a heat final that was. Oh, get my breath back. I honestly don't know who they're going to go for here. That was such a close battle. It's in the judges' hands, and they've gone for up downer. Up downer, go through to number twelve. Sees they've made it to a series semi-final. Bad luck to eighty twenty. Eight up downer through to the next round, and we will see them in the semi-finals. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.